Why are we afraid of letting things go? This is the start of a short mini-series about reasons why we are having trouble letting things go. Well, I am keeping this just in case it comes in handy someday. This is one of the most common responses of my clients when I'm asking why they have, for example, a whole cupboard full of metal containers from Indian takeaway. Yes, there is reason to believe that some of those containers might come in handy, but a whole cupboard full of them is overload. And it's very, very unlikely, if not completely impossible, that you'll ever make use of all of these metal things. This is just one example. People keep all kinds of things just in case, and that doesn't necessarily have to be a whole load of things. It could just be the one item that sits there like a juicer that hasn't been used in five years, just in case somebody wants a freshly pressed juice. Obviously, when the time comes around and somebody asks for a glass of freshly pressed juice, you'll have a hard time locating the juicer making sure that you remember how it works and knowing exactly where to put it and where it is. So it's not necessarily the most useful thing to keep, even though it could come in handy. So there are multiple levels to just in case. It could be based on a slight hoarding tendency, like the case of the metal containers. It could be something like a juicer which might lead to a sense of, I have bought this for a particular reason because I want to get into drinking my own freshly squeezed juices every day. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That kind of thing. So there are multiple reasons, and not just those two, but many others, that might lead to things staying there just in case. That could be the extra set of cutlery, just in case somebody marries and needs more cutlery. Or the postcards you received from your daughter 20 years ago, just in case she asks to see them. It's a tricky one. Just in case could be a completely innocent idea. But on the other hand, just in case can be a huge black hole that contains an awful lot of stuff that is utterly and completely useless. The question to ask about just in case is very simple, really. Is it something that could be easily replaced? Is it something that doesn't really mean anything to you beyond the fact that it's there? Is it something that takes up space that you could make much better use of? If any of those questions or more than one of them are answered with yes, you might want to consider to find ways of letting go of this. And then when the time comes and if the time ever comes, getting another one just like this that will then serve you perfectly, rather than going back to something that's been sitting in the back of a cupboard for 15 years and might not work anymore. Give that some thought, stay clutter aware, and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.